Hello, Deputy Mayor Trainer. How are you? Can you hear me? Action at season one. I love it. I Deputy love those Chambers, You're now live. Oh, here comes Grizzly Adams again. Yeah. No, I. It was good. And everyone is able to she's hear me. She's coming up here. She's, she's. I, can you hear us, Gloria? I can hear yep. you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Jim. Hi. There's a I package for yeah. There's a package for you. She. I didn't know if you wanted a paper one. Oh. Okay. Thanks. This is. I want to right. if everybody's <laughs> ready, we can go live on Facebook. I'm just prepping that. I can't see the other guys. guys. The you can't see anybody else? Do you have I, it? I can see you. And I can okay. see Joanne. There we go. You go up to the top corner, the top right, it should allow you to switch between views and you want to make sure you're on gallery view if you want to see everybody. View and gallery, that's the one with all of the... Yeah, we'll have everybody on the screen at once. Share screen. Hi, everybody. I got it. Okay, I'm Can just getting me? Facebook set up. Sorry Jacob? for the delay. I was running something off real quick from the photocopier. You're in the dark, Jacob. You look I know good. it's awful lighting. Yeah. Oh, there. That's what well, I don't know what you did, but that's better. I moved back. Oh, yeah. well, that's better then. Yeah, you look you look brighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Easy. We are now going live on Facebook. Okay. Jim's just um stepped out for one second, but go ahead and and Glory, I'm going to turn it over to you once we, I'll just open this as our, what do I have to? It's not the meeting, so it's just, it's just brush your presentation. Okay, okay. Don't have to do anything else, Karen. Okay, we can go ahead then, Gloria, and Jim will be in in a second. All right, just a sec. I'm trying to get it so I can share my screen. Does it say live? Um, can everybody see that? Yes, we can. Okay. All right. So thank you everyone for coming to the public meeting of the 2021 budget. Um, so the agenda for today, we'll go over briefly some of the taxation decisions that have been made, a summary of the budget, a uh, summary of some of the capital projects that have been proposed for 2021, as well as a summary of the reserves and reserve funds. For taxation in 2021, there was an assessment increase of only 0.5%. And that was related purely to the new construction during the year as uh, MPAC had made the decision to keep assessments the same as 2020. So you can see the total overall assessment values of all properties within our municipality increased by only 3,635,000. The 2021 total municipal tax levy, so the municipal portion only, has been proposed to be at 4,227,000. 8,51.06 cents that compared to the 2020 tax levy is an increase of $82,180.14. And this is 1.99% increase. Um, as you can see at the bottom of the slide for a house assessed at $250,000 in 2020, this would be approximately an increase of $33 uh, for the year for the municipal portion only. Um, an extra piece that I've added in this year is um, giving an idea of how much of 
for every $100 that you pay in the municipal portion of taxes that goes to the various departments. Um, the negative line you see at the top for OMPF, that is uh, every $100 of collected, you get an allocation of funding out of the Ontario Municipal Partnership Fund, um, where they still fund uh, the municipalities. And the negative at the bottom of the 11 cents is because the cost for the rezoning uh, actually sits within the administration line. So really, when you look at the net of those, the two departments um, actually net to a cost of $7.93. Um, not really surprisingly, in, uh, Transportation services do take up the significant portion of the tax dollar. You can see by the pie chart, it's about 46%, uh, followed closely by protection services, which includes our policing and fire costs. 13% is recreation services. Planning is 3.91%. Uh, General government is about 6% and environmental services, which in this case relates just to the uh, waste disposal. And our waste disposal site is 5.14% because water and sewer do not uh, have funding from the tax dollar. It does not show in these numbers here. Now there will be special charges on the tax bill again this year for street lights and curbside waste collection. This is recovered only from the households that actually receive these services. Um, so the expense for street lights includes covering the cost of hydro and maintenance. Uh, and the curbside waste collection covers the garbage um, pickup fee only. And these rates will be established when the final tax rate bylaw is passed. During the budget deliberations, council had made the decision about water and sewer rates increasing no more than a 0.5% increase. And as you can see there, for a rate one category, which is where a lot of the residential units within the village sit in, you'd be sitting at approximately $197 for your water and sewer for three months. Jamie has a question. Yes, Jamie. Uh, uh, through the mayor, um, Gloria, can you uh, um, spell out the difference between last year's uh, total bill for a minimum and this year's, how much that affects the taxpayer? Um, give me one second. Karen said 195.81 was last year. No. <laughs> yeah, so you're talking about a dollar uh, every three months. I didn't have that calculation uh, handy on me, but I can get the exact amount. <clears throat> um, if you give me one second. So you're talking about $4 a year, basically. Correct. Okay, thank you. Now we'll move on to the summary uh, by department. So our general government within the budget package that is available online uh, covers our administration department as well as the asset management plan. There's expected revenues of 3,179,000 and that is where you'll see the OMPF funding. Uh, the expected operating expense costs for administration and asset management plan are $1,295,000 with capital costs of $135,000. Protection services is, would cover your fire, policing, animal control, livestock valuation, bylaw enforcement, and our conservation authority levies. The total revenues expected for these departments is 122,000 approximately with operating expenses of 1,651,000 with capital costs of $100,000. Transportation services includes roads, street lights, and aggregate costs. We have expected revenues of 
53,000 approximately, operating expenses of 2,849,000 and capital expenses of 1,441,000. Our environmental services would include the sewer, water, garbage collection, waste disposal, and recycling. Revenues expected will be 4,384,000 with operating expenses of 1,544,000 and capital costs of 3,166,000. The largest increase in here is the planned lagoon project. Recreation and cultural services includes parks, the four community centers and their beautification committees, the arena, splash pad, our um, levies to the library board, the pool and the youth center. We are expecting revenues of 890,000 with operating expenses of 984,000 and capital costs of 740,000. The planning and development area includes our community development, our tile drainage loans, rezoning, and minor variance activities with expected revenues of 32,000, operating expenses of 277,000, and $4,000 of capital expenses. Comparable um, to previous years, our taxation and grants do take up the largest portion of our revenue sources. We are expecting some loan proceeds this year as we go forward with the Lagoon project. Um, and hopefully more details on that will be coming at the next council meeting for uh, what rates we can actually start getting on those. The operating expenses, um, this pie chart is comparable to other years where transportation does take um, the largest portion of our uh, expenses, and that's about 33%. So one third of our expenses are uh, in the transportation department with our roads and winter maintenance within them. The next highest being our protection services with policing and fire. Some of our capital projects that are planned for 2021, the largest one would be the Lagoon expansion of approximately $3.1 million to be funded by grants and debt. The Napanee Road reconstruction for $660,000 um, planned to be funded by gas tax and a four-year loan from the Bag Tag Reserve Fund and some taxes. The Kiwanis Playground upgrades for the accessibility that we're hoping to have done in 2021, $386,000, hoping to be funded by grants and donations. The Greetrix Bridge replacement of approximately $300,000 funded from reserves and a four-year loan from the Bag Tag Reserve and taxes. Um, resurfacing of roads, including all the ones within Actinolite, Gallagher Road, Old Troy Road, and Declare Road of 225,000 funded from a four-year loan from the Bag Tag Reserve plus some taxes. Marlbank Road guardrails of 200,000 to be funded from gas tax, grants, and some reserves. The arena condenser replacement of approximately 122,000 to be funded from reserves. The arena accessibility upgrades of approximately 85,000 to be funded from grants, a fire hall addition of 80,000 to be funded from reserves and taxation, and administration building roof replacement of $50,000 to be funded from the reserves and taxation. This chart for our capital expense needs is a little different than previous years because our Lagoon project is uh, such a substantial project that the um, 3.1 million does equate to about 57% of our total capital budget planned for 2021. Um, and then followed by the capital projects planned for transportation at 25.8%. So our reserves and reserve funds. So reserves are an allocation by council over the years of the accumulated surplus um, set aside for specific purposes, whether that is for capital needs or for uh, contingencies. We started, we're, we'll be starting 20, 2021 with 3.7 million. The 
with budgeted transfers in and out with uh, basically a minimal impact to the overall projected ending balance, leaving $3,721,000. Reserve funds are similar to reserves, except they have an asset attached to them, generally either cash or an investment. And we are projected starting with 2021 of 1,590,000. We expect transfers in of 219,000 and transfers out of 648,000, leaving a projected ending balance of, of 1,161,000. Obligatory reserve funds differ from regular reserve funds in the nature that they are mandated and regulated through laws to be maintained separately. And this relates specifically to our federal gas tax funds and our parkland fees. So these are the amounts that we have collected but not yet spent over the years. We're starting 2021 with about $89,000. We expect to receive $380,000 in and transfer out 419, leaving a projected ending balance of $50,000 for future projects. That is an overall summary of our public budget presentation. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to enter them in the Zoom chat or on Facebook. I do have a um, individual, a staff member monitoring the Facebook to let me know if there's any questions. So <clears throat> council can raise their hands if they have a question, correct? Correct. Okay. Any questions, council? Jamie. Uh, Mayor, there are some questions uh, from the, the people in the village. Sorry, you cut out, Jamie. About uh, how their, their water is. Uh, I've received some questions from the, the village residents about the, the funding for the loom. Uh, mm -hmm. about how council plans to pay for it and whether there'll be a special charge or not attached? As it currently stands, it was discussed during the budget presentation. Can't hear you, Gloria. Sorry, I will try to speak louder. It had been previously discussed in our budget deliberations that there was sufficient room in the sewer budget to be able to accommodate the annual um, debt charges for the loan that would be required for anything costing over and above what the uh, funding will be funding uh, covering. So the pro total project was about uh, 5.1 million with uh, just less than 2.1 million to be funded from the federal government and the province of Ontario in total. So we will need to have uh, a loan of approximately $3 million. And as it stands, I do not project that we will need to have an additional um, charge to the sewer um, households who are connected as it should be able to be funded through the current um, schedule that we have right now. Excellent, thank you. Okay, um, Deputy Mayor. Yeah, <laughs> to, to go along with what Gloria said, uh, Jamie, when we checked that out before we even went in for the to apply for it, we had looked at uh, between what our capital costs, our operating costs, and our reserves, what we have in reserves, and what we continue hopefully to come along on those lines will and should be able to handle um, that loan. So you will should not see uh, any additional costs as things are planned at the moment. That's not to say there might be something along the line, but right now, what the CEO has said is basically what we base them moving forward on. And through the mayor, that was my understanding as well. I just thought it was important that uh, the public hear it firsthand. Okay. Yep. Unless it's something unforeseeable came up, there could be something happened. You know, we might have to look at it again or the next town, so look at it again, but that's what we had planned on. Are there any other questions about the budget? Okay, well, yeah, council what, what was what was the uh, the amount that we required borrowing? Three, I didn't hear three point one. Okay. Approximately three million to three point one. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought I heard six and I thought, oh no. yeah. 
um, Deputy Mayor. But, but Jim, also, although we're, we're, um, we'll have a loan to that or borrowing to that extent, remember that will be amortized over possibly a 30 year period. So yeah. it's something that the present uh, occupants, basically it'll be over a longer period of time. So basically that's how we're able to handle it through what's coming in right now. Yes. Anyone else? No. Uh, Councillor Your, Your Worship, I went over the uh, document that uh, Gloria sent about the loan. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, be yeah, there's, there's opportunities there for 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years. So uh, I think once we, once we know the actual figure, and the opportunity to repay, we can pick the term and carry on. Yeah, yes. so when it comes to the end of the construction period and we're ready to convert a construction loan into a long-term debenture, we would be given the choice as to how long we would be looking at at that time, whether we're wanting 15, 20, 25, or 30 years, yeah. and which style, as there are two different ways of paying it back what they refer to as an amortizer and what they refer to as a serial. And there's different interest rates charged on each. And I can explain those at the February 10th meeting. Thank you. Anyone else? <clears throat> Are there any questions from the public, Gloria? We have not seen any come in yet. We will give another two minutes for anyone to submit questions and then we'll end it there if there's nothing. So while we're waiting, I'd just like to say Thank you. to the staff and to to you, Gloria, and um, all the staff for their excellent budgets um, and to council for we really looked hard at this budget. It's um, a hard, it's a difficult year. It's been a challenging year, but I think we've come up with a very, very fair budget for the residents of this municipality. And I thank you and I thank um, all of council for working hard to, um, to achieve this because that's our, we have to continue the business and the uh, maintenance and everything that needs to be done on all of our buildings and our roads and whatever. But so I think we've done this um, in a very good way for the taxpayers of the municipality. Yeah. And one of the things too, um, I was spent, I've been two days at the Roma conference and asset management plans. And I've got the names of three municipalities that, and this was the first time for us that we really saw how the asset management plan works into and how you plan your budget by what we, what the asset management plan is telling us. And the presentations or the little um, videos they showed today of the three counties were exactly what we did. And I thought, you know, so um, thank you for that. Um, we, for me, it was just showing how everything connects. So, and budget should not be <clears throat> for any department planned without definitely looking at all the assets that we have and how we have to um, maintain them throughout the years. So, so thank you. If we have um, any questions, Gloria? So there is one question that has come in through Facebook. I do not know if we will have the answer, but I do have the manager of public works here right now. And the question was, is there a reverse osmosis system coupled with the lagoon project or ways of understanding more detail? It's more of a, a technical question we've got in. Um, I'd have to, I'd have to resource to the engineers. Okay, so we will get that question um, back answered from our engineers and hopefully we'll be able to respond back to this individual. Okay, I, I never heard of that, but um, reverse reverse well, yeah, I don't, there's, 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 okay. <laughs> Any other questions? No, just thanks, Gloria. Thanks to everybody. Okay, well, thank you. Um, Jamie. Oh, Jamie? Yeah, uh, just to echo, Mayor, what you have said, and Deputy Mayor, I, I felt it was a very mindful 
budget given the circumstances that everybody's in and I, I want to thank council for for um, that mark and I, and I okay thank you <laughs> okay then Gloria um I guess if there's no other questions we can say the budget presentation is finished <clears throat> and we will meet back here at five o'clock for the regular council for the yeah. regular council meeting and there will there will be a a bylaw to pass the budget or a resolution in the yes in the there will be a bylaw included as part of the regular council agenda okay well thank you very much okay.